So here's an NVIDIA GPU on ARM. I like to introduce the Apalis family. It uses the 300 pin MXM3 connector. We added all the high speed interfaces like HDMI, Gigabit, Ethernet, PCI Express, SATA, CSI, DSI. This module is running with the NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor, so 1.3 GHz quad core Cortex A9 CPU, up to 2 GB DDR3 RAM and 8 GB EMMC NAND flash. So, how do you get the a GP? This is a, what is this? This is now running the module here on our evaluation board and it's connected to the NVIDIA graphics card through the four-lane PCI Express interconnect. And the, the CUDA graphics card is now driving two full HD screens where we can see here a CUDA simulation, smoke particle and it's a fully integrated uh, desktop so... Multi-screen desktop? Exactly, you can basically... Which Linux is this? This is a LXDE Lightweight desktop environment with our own uh, open embedded Angstrom based uh, BSP. So, what is this? It's an evaluation board. Basically, it's more or less just connectors so our customer can uh, evaluate all the features, all the different available interfaces, everything. Is this a, is this a GPU? Ooh, sorry, uh, is this a GPU graphics card uh, like uh, the fastest NVIDIA GPU on x86? What is this? No, this is actually a rather old school Quadro based graphics card. But uh, you could take any graphics card really and connect it really? with that arm. Any, any NVIDIA graphics card works? Sure. Like uh, the fastest one they have is yeah, called can, seven, uh, Kepler one, 780 whatever. or what do you call it? Yeah. yeah. It would just work. Sure. But what works? Yeah. Well, the whole, feature? the whole feature works. I mean, NVIDIA now provides ARM drivers for it. With CUDA 5.5, they basically are now uh, supporting not only x86, but also ARM-based systems. How about all the games? That wouldn't work because they're x86 or so what? Yeah, I guess they're you would have to have those games compiled for ARM. But it's possible? Like all the most advanced I think games, so. I mean, could they work? Like, uh, there are some open source based games that are already, you can compile it for ARM, it's not a problem, yeah. And uh, this is Tegra 3, how about Tegra 4? Are you working on this? Tegra 4 is actually not uh, going to be launched for embedded. The next one that is going to be launched is uh, Logan, the 64-bit one, and we are working on getting access to the design there now, yes. Alright, so what do you do? I'm actually the platform manager for the embedded Linux platform at Toradex. So what kind of work is that that you do? We basically integrate the embedded Linux onto those modules and we provide to our customer a, a fully customized uh, BSP basically that supports all the interfaces that our modules feature. Do you work with Linaro? Yes, Somehow? we kind of... Angstrom Open Embedded is basically the same thing that Linaro bases on, so it's very close to, to Linaro. So you share code, you use exactly. code, you optimize and uh, where does this solution go? What is it for? You know, we have more than three and a half thousand customers worldwide. We have it in fleet management, we have it in, in medical systems, all kinds of different industries. Uh, what would these industries need a GPU for? Well, if you, for example, do uh, measurement stuff, we have, some, for example, medical devices, they do some really advanced uh, heart rate measurement stuff and things like that. And they can use uh, this CUDA compute power to optimize their algorithms on there. So does the, do customers come to you and ask and say, we want this, we want that, and you help them? Sure. Yeah? 
We are renowned for our first class support service, which unlike many other companies in our company, the support is actually done by the engineers that actually engineered that stuff. Where? Where are they? Based? Well, the are you in Switzerland? Switzerland based. Yeah. Switzerland based. Yeah. This is a Swiss company. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Founded where? It's privately funded. In so uh, no which city? It's near Lucerne in Horb. Yeah. It's basically a spin-off of a local university there. We actually have the 10 year anniversary this year. Of the company? Yes. Cool. So uh, I guess looking forward to and uh, gonna check some other stuff. Sure.